New York the State Court of Appeal ordered an independent redistribution commission to redraw the Congress regions of New York. This is a movement with national influences and can affect which party's House of Representatives controls. New York has a law that says that you cannot make Jerry murmur or Congress maps for political gain. Can end with appropriate lines. The decision, which descended on Tuesday afternoon, throws a monkey key 2024 Congress races in New York. Where last time six class Republican who won for last time may have run on new regional lines that are less favorable, and a handful of games Democrats get back control of two parties. In the New York Congress delegation, there are currently 15 Democratic and 11 Republican. If the six year old student loses and everything else stays in November, Housam minority leader Hakeem Jeffries may be a speaker depending on how Independent Reduction Commission has redesigned the maps. Most vulnerable New York Congress members Mike Lawler from Rockland County, Anthony D. Sposito of Long Island and Mark Molinero of Dutchess County. Tom Suozzi, a former Congress member who was a Democratic working to replace George Santos, could see that his region was redrawn to add more possible Democratic voters. Watch Marsha Kramer's report No Need to Say. The Republicans are angry and the Democrats are excited. Last year, Democrats had a decision that broke the maps of New York gerrymanders' initiatives and violated Constitution. Last year, Supreme Court decided that Democrats were gerrymand regions contrary to Constitution. Point three votes and Court of Appeals approved a challenge in maps. This is what the court had to say last year. If they think that process was missing, they should have ordered commission finished job. Not to completely take it and draw lines from another state from a special master. It was just a ridiculous result to start. Michael Generis, a Democrat representing I. Republicans have a majority of three people at the Congress. And this can help to return anywhere between two to six chairs. This may not only shake Congress regions of suburban New York region, but also all balance of power in Congress only New York and Long Island Hudson Valley. Syracuse region. Nassau and Suffolk may be connected to CBS News CBS News Congress correspondent Scott McFarlane. New York GOP President Ed Cox and House GOP Conference President Elise Stefanik. Elise Stefanik from New York. Gerrymandering will not give up the fight against he implied more court action. The 43 decision was the new Chief Justice Rowan Wilson. The commission is going to the Democratic-controlled legislature for approval to finish its work. Until the 28th of February, Lawler says that many cases can be filed.